Hello students, today uh, we will learn about what is RISC and what is CISC, RISC and CISC. But before we start this topic, let us discuss or revise the previous topic that we completed in the class, uh, also known as instruction format. We already know that we have nearly five types of instruction that are three address, two address, one address zero address and risk type of instruction in informal way we also call this type of instruction as hybrid type now let us see an example for the same in this example we can observe all different types of instruction format are combined but another thing to observe is it is limited to only two types of operation that is load and store while communicating with memory this example we have already understood uh, during the lectures when we were trying to evaluate x is equal to a plus b into c plus d now a computer with a large number of variety of instruction is known as complex instruction set computer also in short it is known as CISC and a computer with less instruction is classified as reduced instruction computer set they can be executed much faster the reason of being faster is nothing but using the memory less and using the register set more In the example also we saw that more registers were used and the memory was only used when we wanted to load and store something. Now, if we want to characterize or classify CISC, we can do it in following way. Now, first point is, it has large number of instruction from ranging from 100 to 250 type. Second, it also has specialized instruction but it is not used much frequently it also supports large variety of addressing that means addressing mode ranging from 5 to 20 types and the length of instruction format also differs it also has instruction that can manipulate operand in memory now in second slide we saw an example most of the instruction was, re was related to registers and all the operation was carried out on the register memory was only used while storing and loading something now while we compare CISC to RISC characteristic it is totally opposite now RISC characteristic is totally different the first point we can see uh, it has relatively few instruction few addressing modes very limited access to memory only only related to load and store instruction all the operation mostly are done with registers now instruction format is of fixed length all the instruction can be executed in a single cycle that means you can execute different instruction in a single go and it is hardwired rather than micro programmed Hardwired means the circuit which is created using decoder, multiplexer, etc. And the program is not written. So microprogram is nothing but a control unit that is created with the use of a program or programming it. We took an example of the same in class also. Now, apart from general characteristic, if a particular system is using risk type of architecture it also has its own characteristic first point it has or it should have large number of registers because most of the operation in risk type is carried out using registers it also uses overlapped register window now this topic will be covering in the next video it also uses efficient instruction pipeline now instruction pipeline is nothing but a, 
uh, you can say it as a buffer which has the instruction and it executes line by line. Now next point is compiler support for efficient translation of high level language program into machine language program. Next part of the same topic video uh, will have what do you mean by overlap register window. Thank you.